disconnect steel braided lines and handle from the manifold. After loosening the lines, make sure you keep them in an upright position because material will leak out. Pump unused materials into the original buckets. Make sure that you use the A to pump the A in and the B to pump the B in. Wipe down polyethylene containers and flush with one quart of N flush. Make sure you wipe all the corners and crevices and threads in your tanks. Here's a great example of them cleaning out their buckets entirely, making sure that they leave no residue behind. They're using a product called M-Flush that basically breaks down the polyurea. After cleaning, you're going to want to judge the ratio by putting equal amounts in each side and pumping through your system, making sure that the ratio is on one to one. Store pump with tanks containing one quart of hydraulic oil. This will ensure that everything stays lubricated when the pump is not in use. 